everyone, it's Lisa here with you on the Crafty Meraki YouTube channel. For my card today, I thought I would have a play with the Be Your Own Kind of Cupcake set, which came out in the last release, in the middle of January. And I'm also going to be playing with the newly released Diamond in the Rough Hot Foil Plate. And I'm going to be showing you how to get subtle foiling on your background today. So I'm going to start off with the foiling and to get that subtle background I'm going to use the Spellbinders Opal Glimmer Hot Foil and I'm going to use it on white cardstock. So I've cut a piece of the foil to size and I've laid it down on my cardstock with the shiny side up and now I've placed my hot foil plate face down onto that surface. I'm going to flip that stack over now that I've taped everything down, place it onto my platform which I have got ready to go so the green light is showing and it's still so I can now place my stack on, hit the timer button and then wait for that to stop flashing. And once it stops flashing I can remove the platform from the base, run it through my die cutting machine and then bring that back to my desk. So I'm just going to take off that tape and remove the foil plate. I am doing this quite carefully as it is hot. I really should use the tool but I tend to use my fingers. And I'm going to pull off that foil now and show you how that background is looking. And if I tilt that into the light, you can really see how pretty that foil is, how it shines in the light. But it is really subtle on your background. And now I'm just going to tape a rectangle die over the background and just trim that out with my die cutting machine. I can just show you again quickly how pretty that foiling looks in the background. So we're going to move on to the stamping now. I've taken two of the images from the Be Your Own Kind of Cupcake set. I've put some £80 Nina cardstock into my Misty and I'm stamping those with Memento Tuxedo Black Ink which is a Copic friendly ink. And I'm just making sure that I get a good impression there, just pressing those images down. And you can see I miss a little bit on the left-hand side of the bottom cupcake. So I just press that lid back down and just make sure that I've got all of the image. And I just quickly wanted to show you the back of the packaging on that set. You've got the six cupcakes which have actually been coloured by the fabulous Brenda on the design team. And this is a really good guide to help you color your images if you're new to coloring. You can try and follow along and see how Brenda has colored those cupcakes. So I'm going to start off with my leaves. And I'm going to put all my marker numbers up on the screen as I move through the coloring. And to save a little bit of time on the video today, I'm just going to be showing you the colouring on the bottom cupcake. I do colour the top one as I go along because it's easier to just use one group of markers and colour both images at the same time. But I'm only actually going to include the footage for the bottom cupcake. So just starting off with those greens and I'm moving from my darkest green which is YG17 through to my lightest. So um, my lightest is YG01 and this is the way that I colour most parts of the image. I usually move from darkest to lightest and sometimes I go back with my darkest colour at the end just to kind of reinforce that darkest colour and to make sure that I get a deep enough saturation. So now I'm moving on to the blues and I'm going to colour the flag on the cupcake and the little blueberries with these three markers. Again I'm moving from my darkest down to my lightest. I'm also going to speed up some of the colouring as well. So just finishing the blueberries and the flag and I'm going to move on to the single flower 
on the bottom cupcake and for that I use BV02. For the three flowers on the top cupcake I actually use two markers BV02 and BV00. So now I'm going to go ahead and colour the sponge on both of those cupcakes and I use three different browns for those. Again, moving darkest to lightest and blending those colours out. Now I'm going to move on to the strawberry using one of my favourite combinations of red markers. And for the frosting, I'm actually going to use four warm greys and I want it to look like white frosting but you do still need to add some colour for it to look white. And now I'm going to finish by doing the cupcake cases using one of my favourite purple combinations and starting off with the BV04 and drawing those lines in from top to bottom. I then blend those out with the BV02 and I finish with my lightest which is BV00 and blend that out even more. And I do go back in with my darkest marker just to reinforce those downward lines to give it a better definition. I've popped the coordinating dies over the image and I've taped those down and I'm just going to run those through my Gemini Junior. And we're going to move on now with assembling the card and I've taken my foiled panel and I've just trimmed a slither off the edge of that on the left hand side and I'm going to add some black and white striped paper along that edge. So I've cut a strip of paper and I'm just adding some wet adhesive down that left hand side and I'm going to place that panel over the strip of paper and just push that down. And then I'm just making sure that's straight and I'm going to trim off the excess from the bottom. And I've also now added that panel onto an A2 top folding heavyweight white note card. I've popped some foam tape onto the back of my cupcakes and I'm just going to adhere those down over the foiled panel. And I often add some glue onto my foam tape just to help me position those images. I get an option to move them around a little bit if there's some glue on the foam tape. So my sentiment is from Special Delivery and I've stamped it onto white cardstock with some black pigment ink. I cut it out with a coordinating die and I added two other layers of white cardstock to form a small stack and I'm just going to add that down onto my panel below the cupcakes. And to finish off the card with a little bit of bling I'm adding some gems. These are the Meraki Sparkle Magic Crystal Gems. And that brings us to the end of today's card. So here is a look at the final card with that gorgeous subtle foiled panel in the background. This is definitely uh, something that I'm going to do again. I really love the look of that shimmer on white cardstock. So thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed the video and I will see you again soon. Bye for now.